Welcome to the garden shop. In this video I want to show you, show you how to grow one of our herb seeds and it is coriander or coriander santos in this case. Uh, the seed itself, well this variety of coriander is, is really good in that it has a larger uh, leaf uh, which is important obviously when you're coming to harvest because it's, that, it's the leaf that you will use in uh, foods. Uh, and also the santos variety is the least susceptible to bolting which is probably the biggest issue you'll ever face with coriander. It has a very uh, high tendency to bolt, which means it will um, stop growing its foliage and start to grow its flowers uh, very quickly. So uh, we'll just look at the packaging. Uh, it comes in this um, paper greaseproof bag and it has a labeling on it here, which gives you all the instructions that you need. On the bottom here, you can see there's a link to the website or the garden shop website which gives you all the sewing instructions. And on the top here, it, there is a barcode, which allows you, using a smartphone, to take a, an image or scan of the barcode, and that will direct you straight to the Garden Shop website, where again, you'll find all your sewing instructions and uh, aftercare instructions for the coriander plants. So we'll take it out of the paper packaging, and then inside, you'll see it comes with a, a Ziploc bag, which is waterproof and then inside that is all your coriander seeds. Um, so again, coriander, uh, it's a good herb to have in the, in the, in the home. Uh, it's used in a lot of things such as curries and soups. And, uh, but again, the, this coriander again, as you say, has the larger leaves, which is great. Uh, but you will find in general that coriander is probably one of the hardest of the herbs to grow. And in general, if you test your gardening skills and determination and dedication. The reason that is is because coriander, as I said, has a tendency to bolt quite quickly. Uh, and the reason why it bolts quite quickly is because it dries out too quickly. So the key to growing your uh, coriander is to keep the soil moist at all times and also to keep it partially shaded. So they're the two key aspects of growing coriander. Uh, so I'm just going to show you the first step really and that's um, the sowing of the seed stage and what we have here is just a general multi-purpose compost with nothing else in it except for what it came with which is this um, small amount of organic uh, parts such as leaf and um, other little bits. So we're just going to overfill our pot and just tap it down a few times. Take out any larger pieces that are in there. When you're dealing with seeds, you want a very fine uh, compost. So you don't want any bits of stone or any larger lumps of compost. You just want the very finest of stuff. So if you want, you can use even a sieve just to sieve out and get the, only the finest bits of compost. And that way you have a good contact between the seed and the, uh, the soil itself. Uh, so when you're filling the pots, as always, you don't want to press down on the compost. Don't push down, just tap the pot and it'll settle itself. And that's it ready to go now. Um, so here are the seeds. And again, in this case, I'm just gonna put, um, we'll put three seeds in the center here. Okay, so we have them in my hand there. There's three. Okay, and then just place them roughly in the center, in maybe a triangle now in the center of the pot, like that. Just press them in a little bit and now just give it a light covering with compost just over that area there and I press in and tap that down too. So there, therefore we have it ready to go, just requires a small amount of watering now. So we have here a pressure water sprayer which is very useful, it's quite neat. It doesn't pour too much water on it, washing the compost out of the pot, this gives a nice even spread of water. And that's it there. Again, coriander then can be planted out or transplanted into a larger pot. Uh, give it some time to grow so that you can uh, handle it easier. And then transplanting outdoors can be done around April time. But it's important, as I said, always to keep it moist. Keep the soil nice and moist, otherwise it will start to put on a flower. And at that point, uh, its foliage will effectively have lost not only its flavour, but also its vigour and growth. Uh, so that's it, ready to go. So that'll be it. Now that should start to germinate in three to four weeks. 
and after that point uh, all that time keep it keep it well watered and once it's reached maybe about 10 centimeters in height we can look at transplanting it outdoors into a lightly shaded location that gets some sun but also has a small amount of shade and a place where it can be kept moist and that'll be it that's the coriander santos seed and all of these are available on the garden shop that i